If you're a trade man or a trade woman, I think I got something here that you're gonna think's real nice like. What's up everybody, my name's Clint. Welcome to the Tool Reviews on channel. Now I got something new to the market and believe it or not, I've done a couple short videos on this where people are telling me this is not new, but it's new. It's always gotta be the TikTok commenters. Now I'll explain to you what these are, how they work and why they are new. Come on, I'll show you what they do. I said, come on. All right, so if you're an HVAC plumbing, construction, you're running piping, you're running the tubing, you're running the PVC. I don't know what you're doing, but these are their new hole saws. But who am I talking about when I say their new hole saw? Diablo. Now these were first introduced at the World of Concrete 2024. I was there, I recorded it. I have a full video that I will put at the end of this talking about all their new product launches. One mandrel. So if I take a seven eighths, slide that in, clicks right in, I'm good to go and drill my hole. Want to move to a two inch like the Lennox we just did, click that right in, ready to go. What if I want to go to a six inch? Clicks right in, ready to go. If you have not seen these before, you want to stick around because they are fantastico. I'll also explain to you why these are new even if you think you've seen them before. Now what's nice about these is that there is a whole ecosystem when it comes to these new hole saws. That's a three inch, that's a three and five eighths, that one right there is a one and three eighths, that one right there is a one and three quarters. Now you can use these on the metal, you can use this on the woodage, you can use this on the woodage with embedded screws or nails. Now we're going to slice and dice, use and abuse with these, but the reason why a lot of people are saying these aren't new is because they have something very similar to this in their hex setup. This comes with this very own collet and it's an SDS. Look at it. Look at it! All right, so this collet here is a very special setup. What's really cool is it's really heavy duty. You can see that they got the quarter inch hex. See that right there? That's where your bit's going to go. I'll show you how to set this up. And the part that inserts into your SDS is, well, right here. Now, if you were to buy this system, you're going to get the collet, you're going to get the adapter, you're going to get the drill bit, and you're going to get these attachments here. Now, you don't really have to buy these, but if you were to adapt from your other brand hole saws, you're going to get a half inch adapter and a 5 8 inch adapter. Now, again, the reason why they give you these adapters is if I'm using the Milwaukee High A hole dozer, well, this right here, 5 eighths, will adapt to that. But if I have a larger bit, I can use the half inch. And how this works is super easy. Watch how cool this is. So you have your drill bit that's gonna go right there. So that'll lock in like so. Now, if you wanted to use your other brand hole dozers, right, you could with the adapter I showed you, or the Diablos, the new ones here, all have these built into it. So you don't need to switch out the adapters or move them back and forth. They're already built in for you. Now this is where the fun happens. So say I am running some conduit or whatever you're doing. I don't know what you do. All I have to do is line this up and it goes in like so. It snaps in, ain't going nowhere. But if I wanna release that, and now I change out my bit, and that's how easy it was. I just took out the one I was using before, toss this one in, it locks in. But if I went to remove that and replace it with a different size, I could. And that, my friends, that's real nice. Like. Now again, the reason why these are new and everybody's like, no, nah, I've had these for 10 years. No, this is an SDS. So I got a new one over here. Actually pretty excited to start using this. This is the Bosch Bulldog here. This one's a super simple setup. If you wanted to go chisel, hammer drill, or we're just gonna go with the regular drill. You can see that right there. Oh, baby. Now how this works is just like any other SDS. You just put that in there and it locks in like so. And now this tool here is gonna to give you a little bit more oomph. But what's nice about these bits, I think they're like 50 millimeter. They are much longer than a lot of the other bits out on the market. Guarantee at least one of you have been going through a piece of woodage and you had to go to the other side and go back in. But sometimes you couldn't because, you know, there's a barrier. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. But with these, they're longer. So you should be able to go through a lot of different woodage with this and not have to worry about going through the other side and making that cut out from the back. Now, the other thing I really like about this, you can see there's a hole, but on this side here, there's a slot, and on the other side, there's a slot. So instead of like sticking a screwdriver in there and trying to get it out, well, it comes out like that. And that's the core, it's all smooth and such. And again, you can just take that wood, just pop it right out of there on the side like such. I really like how the cores aren't getting wedged. This one literally came out by itself. Look at that. Look how 
who now some might ask why would I want an SDS on the back of this? Well, if you have the room and you have a larger tool like this, you don't have to worry about busting your wrist off, you know, and then they come back and smack you in the face. Sometimes your drill drivers, a lot of torque, and if that doesn't have the like twist shut off, that safety shut off, uh, you're gonna bust your wrist. Not real nice like. But you don't need to use an SDS rotary hammer like I mean, you can, it's designed for it, but to be quite honest with you, I find it to be a little bit slower and not as powerful as what you would see with what I'm gonna show you now. If you have a dedicated hole saw, this one's from Flex, has a turbo button. You always add the turbo, Flex. I think we might use the turbo mode on this. And again, what's cool about this, you can get in these slots, kind of raise this up if it does get stuck. All right, let's just do a couple more. I'm having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> that is so cool how that pops out. Some of this gets caught in there, but you just do that. Now, they are claiming that these will last 50 times longer than the blade that you're using now. And if anybody's ever used a DA blow, you know that they're saw blades. They will last a very long time, even if you use and abuse them. On FYI, if this thing is like really wedged in there, which I didn't have any issues with, you can take this and basically just take it out of the back and then pop it out like that. So, yeah. yeah. And technically, if you wanted to, you could use this on your standard drill. So, just throwing that out there. And again, really like this system, the SnapLock Plus 330. That's how easy it is to change these things out and put another one in. It's crazy awesome. And again, these are built in on the Diablo set. So want to know what you think. I mean, I should, should we comment? I'll leave the hex ones that have been out for a while in the shopping bag in this video. I got another video for you right here. I'll like more videos soon.